Hey, what's going on guys? This is Joe Genta. I'm here uh, about to do a, a video for you guys showing you how to set up your MT4. Um, you can see my screen right here and I'm just going to kind of show you. I'm already set up, but I'm going to just show you. You've already downloaded some of these apps. If you see there, the MT4. And as you open it up, you, you should see a screen that looks like this. Um, I'm going to kind of give you a little walkthrough real quick to kind of show you how to set up the entire thing. So when you first open up your MT4, you're going to only have maybe eight or nine pairs showing here. Odd USD, Euro USD, and it's probably going to look like that. It's going to say simple. What you want to do is you want to click advanced. Okay. Now, um, also at the top right, uh, you're going to see where it says it has a little plus sign and you're going to see different folders inside of here. Now, it's different for every broker. Some of them say ECN. Some of them say Forex. Some of them say majors. Some of them say um, crosses, FX crosses. You just got to look at the folders and see which ones that you actually trade, which is basically all the major pairs. We don't really trade exotics and indices and um, you know futures, things like that. So you would just click on the folder. In this case, it's exotics, so you don't do it. But you, yours is going to say FX crosses or majors and then little plus sign next to each one. As you push it, you're going to see it disappear. Just like that. Okay. And then as you see them disappear, they're actually showing up in here. So if you look, those ones I just pressed are now at the bottom of my screen. So um, when you click on the advanced button, you should see the numbers that say spread and the low and the high. This is your bid and your ask price and your spread. This is how they determine what the spread is from a bid to an ask price, which we'll get into in another training. But this is what you know you need to cover when you get into a trade. Now, the next, um, the next screen, it says chart. Um, what you're going to do is there's a button at the very, very top. It has a little F. If you click on that. Now, we're not going to set up all the indicators right now, but what you can do is if you click on main window, it'll show you a list of all the indicators that MT4 provides, and you can click on them and add them to um, your screen. And then once you do, your screen will look similar to what mine does right now. At the top left, it says minute 15. That's because I was trading a 15-minute chart. Each one of these um, uh, time frames, one minute, five minute, 15 minute, and so on and so forth. Standard trading is done on a four hour chart and you know, short term less than that, long term more than that. Um, you know, see your trade plan and see your team leader to learn about how to do all that. Um, we're gonna go over to the settings menu and we're gonna show you real quick how to set up your account. So you're gonna go right here and you're gonna click new account. You're going to uh, log into an existing account and then whatever broker that you set up in the previous video under demo demo account you're going to search for them here so if you were searching for JAFX you would search for your JAFX they would come up and you would click on it one they would give you a login and a password that once you set up like you did in the previous video you use that information to log in here and click sign in from there it will take you back to the quotes menu and now you should be all set up um, if you have any other questions um, you know about mt4 setup just reach out to your team leader and um, you know you can you can be able to um, you know navigate your way through mt4 remember getting familiar with uh, metatrader 4 is one of the most important things you can do because this is the app that we're going to use to get in and out of trades and um, so, so you're going to want to definitely familiarize yourself with this. This video is just meant for setup. Uh, one other thing I'll go over real quick. If you go to the settings menu, if you go down to charts, right, there's all of this right here. Make sure that yours says candlesticks. Make sure that your volume, your ask price, and your period, uh, um, period separators and trade levels are all on. You could turn volumes off if you like. That's totally up to you. Your o OHLC should be turned on. Your data window should be turned on, and your colors is this is this is where you navigate through and change the color scheme. Now, I would recommend. Let me go back to my chart. I would recommend you use a similar color scheme to what we use. This way, when, in, for the purposes of training, especially when you're new, when we say here's a blue candle, 
and you say, well, mine is green or mine is purple. And, you know, it can be a little confusing when we say the yellow line in the middle and you say, well, wait a minute, mine is pink. That could be a little confusing. So I definitely would recommend you set yours up similar to ours. But again, it's your total. It's your preference. You, you do whatever you want.